Welcome to another amazing adventure with Kelly and Kay. Today we're talking about Carl Chronicles. Carl Chronicles. Join me on an adventure to learn about Carl's. Join Candy the Turtle and Kay the Star and learning what the Carl is. This is the Carl. How are corals affected by rising temperatures? Hmm. Okay, let's find out. Corals have a special relationship with the tiny algae in the ocean. These algae live inside the corals and provide them with food through a process called photosynthesis. When the water gets too warm, corals become stressed and expel the algae, turning them white or rather bleached. And this is called coral bleaching. It's called a process of coral bleaching. This is when the corals become white. Okay, how are the corals affected by invasive species? Candy, invasive species are plants or animals that enter the ecosystem different from their own. Take lionfish for an example. Lionfish eat algae eating fish, but not many animals hunt them. Without enough herbivores, they can be too much algae causing stress on coral reefs. So, Kay, does this mean invasive species may compete with corals for space and resources? Candy, they can also damage, eat, or give diseases to corals, which can endanger entire reef system. So, Kay, what you are trying to say is that the rising temperatures can result in coral bleaching and can contribute to coral reef destruction. The spread of invasive species is a damaging to the corals. It can affect their growth and survival. It's exactly that, Candy. But what can we do as individuals to protect the coral reef ecosystem? Thank you, friends, for joining us.